It's Janie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be an unboxing of all of my birthday presents that I got for my birthday. I found a MC Well, I didn't find. My parents bought me a Project MC Squared doll, two Ever After High dolls, and a huge monster... Uh, wait. How do I say monster high? You know what I mean. Star Wars. You can read. If you can read, then you know. You know the last thing I'm going to show you. Yes. Huge Star Wars... Thing. And I'm going to unbox everything and sort of give my opinion on the doll. And I'm going to start with this one because I like her the best. This is Project MC Squared Michaela, and she comes with a cool experiment. And me and my two friends are going to see if it works or not. Oh. Say hello. Oh, hi. Yeah, you have seen you've seen her in two other videos, and you have briefly you seen good? Jindai in... <laughs> You're sitting on my lap. You've briefly, okay. you've briefly seen her in one of my first YouTube videos. They have been with me since the beginning. They inspired me to start my channel, and she has been a guest in two of my other videos. And you were briefly, you kind of didn't want to be, you weren't camera ready. Yeah, and so after I open all these dolls, I will show you guys the um, experiment, and we will actually see if it works. So I'm going to go ahead and open her up and, um, and see what she looks like. out of the box and I absolutely adore her she's absolutely beautiful I just wish that she had the inset eyes and the funny thing is on the back of the box it shows that she has inset eyes and down here when she's with her friends too and the instructions that she came with also had the doll as having inset eyes which is funny but I love her anyway she is articulated and she had a lot of shedding going on at first but that's all out now and her hair is still nice and full. There aren't any plugs pulled out or anything. And she has an absolutely amazing outfit. Look and at a her. ring. Not, yeah, let's say look at that ring. And yeah, that ring is so cool. Her overalls are nice because, I mean, you don't really see dolls with overalls. so Yeah, she like, looks awesome. really cute in overalls. And I love the red boots. The boots are amazing. It goes. Not it like goes. the unpatterned stuff. Like, yeah, what? I know. So cute. So cute. <laughs> 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 okay. I know, but Sorry. I mean, no, it's okay. Is this is a fun channel? We can be happy. We don't have to be all Behind professional and serious. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So she comes with her instructions, and once I'm done opening the rest of the dolls, we will try and do this experiment. And it comes with a lava lamp, and the light does work, and it disconnects and stuff. Oh, I didn't. It's, know it's gonna take a while. I, I yeah. I took it. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. got this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so the next one I'm going to open is Way to Wonderland Maddie. I'm super, super excited about her. I honestly didn't know how I felt about the Way to Wonderland dolls. I thought that they might be too busy and, like, too, like, brightly colored. But I changed my mind now that I have her and Apple and Lizzie, and I absolutely adore her, and I think that they're absolutely beautiful. She finally got that fixed. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to unbox her. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but it's very, very flat. She definitely needs a, like, hair wash and conditioning and curl. But other than that, she's so cute. Her big hat is absolutely adorable. Her hat is adorable. And she comes with a ring that's shaped like a teacup and saucer and big glove ruffles and a necklace and watch earrings and a absolutely amazing dress with these crazy shoes. A ginormous hat. A very ginormous hat. I mean, she's a daughter of Mad Hatter. What can you expect? And she also comes with her stand, her brush. And this her... awesome purse, and it opens, too. It actually opens. It's really like... cool. Yeah, it actually opens like that. It's really cool. Yeah, and she also comes with her, like, diary card thing that unfolds, and it shows this, and it has, like, a little bit of info on the back, like so. Even yeah. it was, no. That's yeah, much. I absolutely love her. This is what her face looks like. I absolutely love the makeup. 
I absolutely love the makeup. It's different than the other ones because um, it's very because her face and her face looks different from the other ones. Like I would yeah, say, but I think it's, it's I think it's the the makeup. It's so pretty. Yeah, and like her her like she like she's pale in the other ones and like yeah she's a little she's more like, tan she, in this yeah. one. It feels like it's yeah. Dark, yeah. Okay, so moving on to the next way to Wonderland doll. This is Apple. She has the same sort of big head accessories part, and I think she has the open like the opening purse. So I'm gonna unbox her as well and then we'll be able to see her. so much her hair isn't as bad as Maddie's because Maddie had textured hair and hers isn't but it's actually pretty soft and I absolutely love her colorful makeup and she's got this gigantic bow that actually isn't plastic attached to her big crown and she also has a ring that is shaped like an apple and this big headdress I mean this whole like big neck piece thing and these apple shaped earrings and pastel colored streaks in her hair and these really cool gold shoes and this humongously hat-tastical dress. I like my play words, humongously hat-tastical. Love it. Yeah, and she has these big ruffled gloves as well that have hearts in them. And she also comes with a unfolding purse and doll stand and a read me. Let me see what that read me looks like. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it says basically the same thing. It says Apple White, and then it has some info here. Sorry for the glare, but it's kind of late, and so the lighting's bad. Okay, so the last doll that I'm going to open... The last dolls. Yeah, is this huge Star Wars box. They aren't actual dolls. They might be considered, like, large action figures, because none of them actually have rooted hair or cloth clothes. But my parents are amazing because I absolutely love Star Wars, and I especially love Rey and BB-8. May the force so, be with you! Yes, I actually got tickets to see The Last Jedi for my birthday as well on opening night. Just, it's so exciting. Whoa. Yeah, I know. So I'm gonna open this. This might take me a while, but uh, yeah. <laughs> one is BB-8 and it's super awesome he actually can move around like his head can move and his thing can rotate which is nice and he actually is like the perfect size for um, my Disney Store Ray. Want to hand me Disney Store Ray really quickly? Yeah this is my Disney Store Ray. I have her pose. She was supposed to be holding her staff but it, but it broke. I mean this is like a pretty awesome awesome duo going on here. I absolutely love this. Love this Disney Store Ray. She's beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Next. Okay so you want to hand me Kylo Ren? Can't get a seven. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, he here's Kylo Ren with his lightsaber. He doesn't have anything actual, actually like cloth. His lightsaber is pretty awesome, and he has movement at the head. It can move it up and down slightly and side to side, and he has movement at the shoulder and the hips, sort of. His this is actually movable, but it's still like very hard to move. Want to hand me someone else? You can hand me him. His. So here is a uh, clone trooper or stormtrooper, whichever you want to call it, with his gun. He, this is the one with the orange shoulder pad. He also has the basic five points of articulation. And I can do him next. Here is him with his staff, which is really cool. His staff um, can't really do any movement. It actually can do it a little bit, though. See, this thing can move, and this thing can move, but it's very like flimsy, so it can like come off really easily. And uh, this part can move also, and this part can't hardly can hardly move at all. And the doll, same basic five points of articulation. He doesn't have the shoulder pad though. And um, oh here, 
You want to hand me Poe? Thanks. Yeah, his, he actually has a holster to hold his gun, which is really nice, so he can actually hold his gun in his hand or in his thing. And the face mold is pretty close to what Poe actually looks like. Yeah. And he has the basic five points as well. It'd be nice if he had actual real clothes, though. Oh. That would be nice. So then, like, it'd be cool if, like, he could take it off, like... His head doesn't move for some reason. Oh, oh never mind. Oh. It does. Okay. It, it does. Stay. Yeah, it moves barely, but his jacket keeps getting in the way. Poor Poe. Okay, last and most favorite is Beautiful Ray. Her face is pretty close it, uh, to the actual Ray. Her hair is down like it is for The Last Jedi. She has her lightsaber, and she also has the basic five points of articulation. And that about, um, we're going to go and try and figure out how to do this experiment. So we're going to get the instructions and all the ingredients we need, and we will meet you guys in our kitchen. Alright, so we have our instructions here and here, and we did not have any effervescent tablets, so we're just going to do without, because that's all you can do, because we're not going to go have three kids randomly drive to Walmart and look for effervescent tablets. And none of us have driver license. Exactly. I'm only 15. My birthday was recently, but I'm not that old yet. Okay, so we have our food coloring. We chose blue. We have our cup of water. We have, we don't have vegetable oil, but we do have grapeseed oil, and that's that's basically the same thing. It's so, lighter, so. Yeah, so it should work. And then we have our little thing here, and it says, fill a glass with water, which we have done, and what happened? Oh, okay. It says, fill a glass with water and add one drop of food coloring. All right, one drop. Here wait, wait, go. I think if it we do one drop. I don't well, think that needs to be like one like that. Well, it says add one drop of food coloring, and then you're supposed to pour in the right amount into this little thing. Okay, just add a couple of bottles. No. Yeah, it's not going to mean like just one bottles. drop. Because it says one drop, and I'm going to follow the recipe. Oh, God. Look at how pretty that is. Oh. That's so pretty. Can you see it? That's really pretty. Can you see how pretty that is? Yeah, so you can see how pretty. It's so beautiful. Okay, we should it's stir like, it now. It's, like it's very beautiful, but we want to stir. Oh, no. That's very potent. We didn't need to add a whole bottle. Look at how potent that is. Wow, oh, that is. That's a nice bite. Okay, so it's all stirred in, and it says, remove the top of the lava light from base, which we have done, and just pour the colored water into the lava light up to the third measuring line from the bottom. If using darker food coloring, pour less colored water to achieve a better effect. So three. Let's see, so it says do it the third one from the bottom. One, two, three. Okay, I'll put Wait, hold on. So, does it mean like all the little lines or the bigger line? Because there is, it goes. Probably so the bigger line. Because, yeah, so. What's, what's the bigger line? What's the third bigger line? See, so it goes one, two, three. So, how about we do two here? Yeah. Since it says to use darker here, water. Here, I'll pour it in. You put yeah. your finger on it. Oh, we don't make a mess. Keep going, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, you should tell them to stop there. That would be fine. No, that's, a, that's a second yeah, line. Yeah, that's to the second line, and since we have a darker color, that should work fine. And then it says add vegetable oil to the top of the measuring line. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and hopefully it'll look cool without the effervescent tablets. And I think if nobody has effervescent tablets just sitting around the house, they should include it. Okay, so it says add it to the top of the measuring line. Move your hands so people can see what it looks like when it falls in. Yeah, it goes to the top. It's like so cool. If you can see that. Okay, now we should stir. Oh, yeah. Well, if we had to do that. I think we should just put the cap on and shake it up. Yeah. Because the, the, yeah, the spoon won't fit in there. Yeah. Think about it. Okay. Can you see how big that's going to be? Stop. You're going to just create bubbles. That looks cool. That looks cool. That looks, looks so cool. Looks like Look at how cool that looks. It's like a greeny yellow. Can you see how cool that looks? Turn it upside down. Turn it upside down. Like flip it upside down all the way. <laughs> Can you see how cool that looks? It looks really cool because it's like a lighter yellow on top, and then it goes green and then blue. It's like a, it's like an ombre. This is so cool. We don't need effervescent tablets, people. Who needs effervescent tablets? The improvisers are boss. Yes. Okay. So now we attach it to the light on. <gasps> okay. We should turn the lights off. Hit the lights. It's the light for the party. We gonna do it right. Eh. Sorry if the lighting is terrible. You see that? Can you see it? Can you see it, Jen? You can hardly—you can't really see it. Maybe I should just turn my light nice, on. Nice. How's that? 
We're trying to show you how cool it looks, guys. You can't really see it, but it looks absolutely amazing in the dark. It does not do it justice. Maybe but, um, if yeah. we'll bring that light in. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it did work without the effervescent tablets. It probably didn't achieve the absolutely most amazingest effect. But, yeah, that wraps up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications so that you guys will get a notification whenever I post. Bye. And post which all was your best. <laughs>